buckets, you'd ride that bucket, it'd take about 22 minutes and small change, you'd get out, you'd go underground, work your eight hour shift, come back out, jump in another bucket, end up over here, hop out and get on in a tow. It's a pretty neat place. I'm ready to go for a ride in the bucket. I'd love to go for a ride. I was born too late. I worked with mines. But I didn't get to ride the buckets. Oh, you did work on those mines? Not this mine operation. I worked with some other ones. Yeah, I went basically, not a lot happened with that one after 1920, well, 1930 through 1943. But uh, this part of the operation is better. A like this would bring say 1,600, 1,800 pounds, something like that down the mountain, mm -hmm. which would be happening over on this side. Now, basically you have this, which would be kicking this closed on here, clamping onto this. So this is just regular wire rope, as we call it, steel cable, you might call it. Mm -hmm. This is a traction cable. This would be in motion. Up above, we got a rail right here, but um, we have a track cable. And this, if you saw a cut, and you, there are cut samples over our mine museum next to the courthouse in Silverton. This is a track cable, it's strictly stationary, and there are four wheels on these buckets. The weight would be bearing on that, with this in motion. Now when this came in, there would be a decoupler, and it's not here, but it would basically like that flange over there. And then from there, if you're working down here, you'd be pushing a loaded bucket on back beyond where the corrugated metal and those electric panels are. That was all open. Mm -hmm. You dump this manually, push it back around over this side, and then that it head up, possibly, you know, with someone riding in it, possibly with dynamite, coal, groceries for that boarding house up beyond or whatever in the way of supplies. You know, I really like is the fact that, you know, this is still like a <clears throat> nice old timber, this one and that one over there. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's just amazingly beautiful. Yeah, I mean, just basically, you worked with what was available, that's in it. this case, you didn't get to get too fancy, and that's been good enough for all these years. Oh, yeah. It'll last for a couple hundred more. You know, that's the plan. I'd sure love to see it. Now, this is the same kind of a tram arrangement here, but a much smaller bucket. This is much earlier. This is probably, probably from, I'm going to guess from the 1890s. We had a huge number of, uh, of you know, a, this type of tram system put in during that time period. There were other tram systems earlier that had fixed buckets on cable. This is from one of those. I think this was repurposed up at the uh, coming, not coming wonder, um, oh geez, what's the, the uh, little nation mill, which is the one you'll see cables going across to Tram House and Mill on your left, just before you get to Howardsville, which is the first ghost town you got hidden up this way. I used to see one of these on my cable, and one year it wasn't there anymore, probably about a decade plus ago, ended up up here. But these, these are Houston buckets, and they were a simpler system, basically uh, a single cable system. It didn't carry nearly as much. 
I'm no partial to this location. I wonder how they dumped this. Uh, this again, this would have been a self-dumping system oh, with this, okay. but it went very, very slowly. This yeah. would be going maybe two, three miles an hour, say, uh -huh. whereas this probably 15 miles an hour, something like that. High speed. Yeah, carrying much more in the way of uh, volume, and the fact that you could manually push these things around, decouple and all that kind of thing. It made for a much more efficient system. Um, tramway engineers put these together. This is not something that mining engineers or anybody else touched back in the old days. Um, incredibly efficient, they operated year round, which made for a much more efficient thing than having burrows or mules with canvas sacks full of hybrid coming down maybe a couple of months out of the year. So, I bet you need to be in the here, huh? Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to clean my camera lens up. Was this turning or just... Here's the sign for it. Crushing. Are you screaming? Yeah. Yes, you are. Inside the Mayflower Gold Mill. Yes, sir. There she is. Short head, the standard crusher, and a jaw crusher. Crazy. Look at this. This is radical. I like this. Look at this light bulb. Look how big this is. That's a big light bulb. That's a big. That's an idea. That's a really good idea. <laughs> Why did I leave my uh, jacket in the car? Look at that. Ball avalanche. Ball avalanche. Look at all the speed you see type. Custom war shoots. Look at all the cartoons and all the milk. All the stuff you could ever want. Someone lost their marbles here. Yeah. Where is Winkleman's? Winkleman. I thought Christmas. Look at that giant bag up there. See? So you're all right. This mm. giant yellow thing. Oh, yeah. Are we lost? No. <laughs> Man, this is cool. Let's see what we put in here. Fine or bin. 
That's what all the goodies were, huh? That's, yeah. That's why they have it so well protected. Oh yeah, that's, look at that. Hey, look how tall it is. See? He is monstrous. It's like you're supposed to go in this area. Oh wait, that says keep out. That could hurt. That could hurt. So tall people have to duck. You got your FF pump, your flash cell blower, jig one, flash cell. Hey, thank you. Obviously not approved for six plus footers. Oh yeah, look at that. We can fire this thing up, I think. Yeah, you want to see if you can fire it up? Ready? Ready. Maybe not. No, last time it was it, last time it was working. Last time it was operating. This time. Yeah. We were able to power it on last time. Ooh. Grinding messages. Ooh, someone likes their cashews. Little square scale here. Yeah. Grandpa. Fault. Rod Mill. Yeah. Main. You want to leave a message, Amanda? <laughs> There's the main rod, the main jig panel, Built. different conveyors. HP pump. Oh, wait, water pump. Class. Same. Class. If you have class, this light will come on. Nope. Never. Probably the most beautiful woman to ever enter a gold mill. There we go. A can of cashews. A can of cashews is back that way. Low headroom. Let's see. See, I'm six one. Yep, that's not going to work. I, I'm stuck in here. Run for it. Make a run. <laughs> Make a run for it. Yeah. yeah. Go, go. Mm. Mm. Oh, what do we have here? Flash flotation cell. Wow. This is an experimental piece of machine installed in the last middle of the operation in 1990, you see? Yeah. The mill could establish better basement on recovery than the standard 90%, possible to cut some of the high milling cost as well. Okay. Is it a, an idea or a really good idea? It's a really good idea. A really good idea. I like that. I love the smell of these old dusty places. It's awesome. Well, that one's working. Down we go. Ooh, look at that. What do we have here? Oh, we can actually. Yeah, we can actually go up here. Don't want to miss this. Oh yeah, that's right. This is that really cool little area back here. I'm gonna put my glasses on to see this one. The fine ore feed pan feeders. Oh yeah. A little smore there. Hike way back in there. You want to go it back? You can actually go in here. Did you guys see the. You just need a light. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. You're allowed to go all the way back to that. It's just a tight squeeze. Will you hold my hand? Oh, yeah. Just wash your head. Because you're allowed to go back there? We're going to get the fine ore. There it is. Look at all that fine ore. But you can come back here. Yeah, once we come out. <laughs> yeah, once we come out. It's pretty tight squeeze, but it says you can do it. And all that fine ore, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's safe, kids. Nice Just take that big wrench. Where's the lunch bag? Don't you have a one gallon lunch bag? Yeah. Opening a big chick can be just a... <laughs> I'm going to check it out. goes the golden fox descending deep into the fine ore bin. What a break. <laughs> we see what happens when me if I throw these switches while you're back there, Red. That would be bad, I think. <laughs> Isn't that cool? There's a great big wrench here. What great ingenuity. See, I'll do it over my head like a flamingo dancing. There we go. Mm -hmm. Wow, and so I see it comes down through here. Look how fine it is. It's almost like um, talcum powder, how fine it is. It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Got your carbide lamp there? Hey, someone doesn't know how to park, apparently. See, I get the reason they stopped this because to start this equipment, you had it uses so much electricity, you know? Yeah. It's all electric, yeah. It's the ball mill. Oh, is that grease? Look at that gunkiness. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that oh. tastes like. No. Look at that wrench. Oh, yeah. Let's see how much money we made here. What was the target? Did anyone hit the, the, the target? Look at all these belts. Oh, yeah. So, wait a minute. The jig Gold, tank. lead, zinc. So, Friday, 7, 15, 80%. One average, 88.4% AU, 82.38, it looks like AG. That's a pretty primitive way of tracking things, isn't it? In the 90s, they were still doing this. It was a 91 dish. Eighty-eight percent was gold. Gold, eighty-eight percent gold. Yeah. So oh, the yeah. jigs, actually, all I'm turning ready? the Are ball ready? mill. Ready? Let's go. As well as that mechanism, directly down from the spiral classifier, flowed through the jigs. Approximately seventy percent of the gold, along with portions of other metals, mostly iron, were picked up here and pumped over to the jigs holding tank directly behind you. The jigs were strictly mechanical. The heavy gold would drop through a screen enhanced by vibration woo, and suction created by the diaphragms attached to the rocker arms. The button on to your left will activate the rocker. Gold jigs tank directly behind you was the holding facility. I was wondering about that. For the gold jigs. From the tank, the jigs dropped down to the um, amalgamation department to start the purification process of the gold. I don't know about the pronunciation, but... You got it. Ready? Go. Ready. Fire it up. All right. So it's a shaker, basically. All right, let's see what's going on here. No gloves. No gloves on that. Well, they got rid of that one calendar they had in here. Oh, nitric acid. Oh, oh that's... Yeah. They used to have a calendar in here if a girl wanted to see. So this was a central control of the nervous system. Yeah, they removed the it. I had to add it. Ooh, nitric acid. Place.
some character. Well, yeah, that looks safe. Exchanged messages and notes. You, you studied with that in college, didn't you? In the lab? Maybe. I don't Maybe know. I don't like chemicals. Maintenance do that. I was in that from chemistry class. Oh, look at that. You did really well in chemistry. Center. I know. It was the information spooky. center for the grinding, flotation, and the filter circuits. Uh, course photos from home and a few cartoons from any artistic employee was Someone also part of the, the accepted atmosphere. So basically, this was the bridge. Yeah. Okay, let's see what is this. Thing. Oh, it's a little bit of a shame. Lots of money. Barricade area. Yeah. There we go. Cook City, Montana. Major gold mine planned on the outskirts of Yellowstone National Park. One open for at least two years, but. What year is that? 1991. Beautiful. It is. It has come off a draft. Quite stale. So it looks like we the first one up of the high mountains. Yeah. Deep enough to swim. Some improvements. This hell. Sounds like the mine owner was Russian, the name, you know. Because he cut a lot of benefits. I don't think that's what all that. I think the guys put up there. No. Oh. Boris Griskov. Good old Boris. The Russian mafia about the mine in the mines. You know what I mean? There's number 56. So what is this? Here? Look at that. Look at those bubbles in there. Yeah. It's all bubbling up. A little flotation action. Reagent feeder. We can, I think. This has this little switch here. Want to try the switch? Yeah, throw the switch. Let's see what happens. There we go. Let's throw it again. What does it do? The reagent feeder. Press button and hold, press and hold button to run flotation paddles. Am I tall enough? Yeah, you're tall enough. Look at that. There we go. Jamie? Isn't that cool? Lead scavenger cells. Man, I love this place. It's so cool. Things are a bit sketchy. Copper flotations, though. You'll be fine. Let's hop right in there. Oh, and then their office up there. Press and hold button for a surprise. Ready? Yeah. Okay. It says, please watch your children. That sign should be before the button. Because yeah. big kids like me are going to push it. Be very careful with pH meter electricals. They break easily and they are expensive. Probably where the... Uh, That's the big chief. Zinc scavenger cells, zinc conditioning tank, not visible from this location. So they recovered every metal here. They tried to get every last thing they could.
Yeah. yeah. Different parts and stuff. That was like a parts washing station there, you guys. Uh oh, another head, another head banger. Oh, well, yeah, had duck on these. This is not. I'm going to have to talk about to the uh, tall person society here in this neck of the woods. Do not throw trash in this can. Gotcha. Hello. Must have been short people. Hello. There's a dead fly. A dead fly. Hey. Well, in case you're wondering. That's a door. That's a door? Yeah, in case you're wondering. You know? They spray paint the door on it. I didn't think it. there. Oh, look at all the sifters. Oh, yeah. Huh. Look. PB, lead. What's Zian? Zinc? Now you took chemistry. You're in college. You should know what's all this. What's the last one? And what's this one? Okay. So that's the assay lab there. Do not turn right. Do not turn to your right. Go straight to the door ahead of you. Hey, Ken. I don't see a door ahead of me. Keep going. I got a duck in. Yeah, I got a duck in here. This was like for people four feet tall. <sighs> Wait, is there a thirteen? Look at, look at those televisions. There is a thirteen. Remember the guy in the mind tuber said you won't find a thirteen? Uh -huh. There's a thirteen. Look, there's a camera watching us. Look at those televisions. I had one like that when I was a kid. Oh my God. Amalgamation department. Deister table. Oh, look at the shaker. Oh, yeah. Look at the gold going down it. Ready? Ready. Dang it, they took all the gold. Not bad pictures. There. Yeah, put some shingles here. So actually the gold runs up here, huh? Oh yeah, look at this. Yep. I think so. I'm gonna take a panning sample. Take a panning sample, yeah. See what you get. Amanda's got the good stuff over here in the bucket. No, this is just racks. These are just oh. things. They're pebbles. Oh, there, yeah. Those are just little, little balls. Where did the gold go? In my pocket. Where it belongs. This will be fine. What could possibly go wrong? The bullion furnace. Look at that. Nice big nice big gold brick they poured for you. got acid on you, you have to pull, stand here, you get a shower. This is for your eyes. I'll save you. Ooh, the retort. Look. The cast. Oh, that's a furnace, huh? Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at the cast. There's a cast over here. Where did they pour it? Maybe over here? Safes used for storage of amalgam. Gold sponges. Look at there's the clock and it's dead. Mm -hmm. Plastic soda. Watch your step. I know, I have a tendency. There you go. There's your casting. Oh. There's your brick. Nice. Alright, I gotta get out. I'm gonna go 
You cold? Follow the exit sign. I don't want to leave. Well, how long did it take them to build such a structure, this facility? I wasn't there. Man. It's, yeah, it'd be short to walk through that area. Watch your head. Yeah, everywhere. It almost smells like grape soda. It does smell like grape soda. You know how to run that. This is how they machine parts. You can make us some parts. It's old iron chips, metal chips. Rigid. Look at, here's the helmet. That's for welding. But my battery's almost dead on this one. It's giving me the battery. Yeah. Look at all that good stuff. Oh yeah. Back in the old days. This over here would have been your, would have been your primary the storage pressure noise. It's called scrap. Five centimeters, small one. All right, and that concludes the tour of the Mayflower Mill. One of the coolest places you'll ever visit. And we have an awesome guide. There's my favorite flag. Hope you enjoyed it, kids.